This video, we will be looking at a way of sharing data amongst various controllers using the global data object. This is a very, very powerful tool that can be used in a wide range of data sharing. For this particular session, we are going to set up a data share for a common set point for our economizer lockout. So the first thing that we need to do is to insert an object and we need to insert an analog value as a reference set point. So we select the AV and we have here, we are going to put this in the common set point folder that we have created under this particular building device. And we're going to simply give this a name, something that is uh, a very good reference. We're just going to call it uh, Master Econ Lockout Set Point. And just something generic, something that will uh, be easily recognizable on our system. So once we have that named, this configuration screen, we need to go in here and we're just going to set up our units. We're going to set this to degrees Fahrenheit since we are using temperature. We're also going to put a relinquish default value in this. That way if something were to happen, if the controller were to reset or something, it would go back to this value, just kind of a little extra security on uh, setting one of these up. So we're just going to throw a value in here. Um, we'll say 60 degrees, just, uh, just a good round number. Hit next. This is a review screen. We just hit finish. Now we have a reference value set for the set point. Uh, we're not going to add any trends or anything like that uh, since this is just a set point. Now then, we need to highlight our folder again. We're actually going to create the logic block. We're going to go back up to insert object and now what we're going to get is the global data object. Once we have that highlighted, we hit next and it's going to again ask us the location where we want to put this. We will keep this in the same folder. And here we will simply give it a name that uh, something recognizable that uh, will identify it with that set point. In case you ever have to go back and do some troubleshooting. And we simply hit next. And in this screen here, you'll notice in the middle of the screen that big red block. That is the value that the logic block references to. And what we have to do here is link that to the point which we created. So we hit the little gray box and then we go back into our tree and simply select the analog value which we created just a few moments ago. And once we do that, it will link the global data block to that point. And now we have to create our slave list. This is a list of points which that value will be written into. We hit this and we're just going to create a few here. Uh, we're going to make our screen a little bigger to make it easier for us. And each of these has the option of going in and selecting the various points. So now we're going to go down to our network and actually select the economizer switchover set point for each of our air handlers. And here it is for this one. Now then, for these particular points, uh, we have got to change this to the default value, from the present value to the default value. Different points are commanded differently within your system. And these particular points, when we go to command them, it, it only gives us the option of changing the default value, and we have to add that here in this. So we're going to go through each of these and add these points uh, from each of the air handlers to our logic block. So just bear with me for a minute. It's pretty much the same in each of these. We just grab the economizer, uh, change the 
uh, block to the default value and we're going to grab our third one there's a total of six air handlers in this building and this uh, system this logic block is something that really makes it much easier to use instead of having to go to each air handler to adjust this set point uh, using a global data like this is a great way to share one set point to all of the air handlers these types of uh, logic blocks work very well also I need to go and add a couple more blocks uh, these uh, this type of logic block adds a great way of adjusting the entire common set point for a building as well or even simply going and putting it uh, just breaking it up by the floors uh, depending on how you use the space you can simply put a master control point simply similar to what we did here with the economizer lockout and you can have that same data shared to each of those points I'm just going to hit OK here we have this pretty much created so now we are simply going to hit our oh, this time here this right here that interval time it's how often that it will recommand reinitiate that value into each of those lists it defaults for two minutes that's a good round value you can change that to whatever time frame that you need uh, if you have a uh, system where you know you need an alternative set point you can add that there but we're just going to hit next we're going to hit finish and here we are we now we don't want to add any kind of a trend or anything like that to this but uh, you know it does pop that up now we have our object created and let's look a little bit about how these function so uh, what I'm going to do here is I am going to pull over one of my air handlers and you can see the value that I have entered right let me locate it right there now then you can see here the command if I wanted to command that it only gives me the option of changing the default value and that's why we had to change that inside that logic block but uh, you know we have that set now we can you can see the value of this what we're going to do is go to I'm going to open up another panel here so we can get a little bit better view of what's going on and I am going to pull over the set point into this window now what we're going to do here I'm simply going to command this point I'm going to adjust it to a different value than what it currently is and if you will watch the set point in the other window you will see it change as well and see that's sharing that one set point value into that air handler that's a uh, you know like I say it's a very very useful tool uh, let's let's show a little bit more let's go ahead and pull in a few of the air handlers I'm going to open up a couple of other windows and then I'm simply going to drag over the two more of the air handlers to where you can see how this works for multiple controllers. Okay, now then we have our air handlers. Let's just find the points that we need. And scroll down. Okay, here it is for this air handler. Now then let's find it on our other one and there it is now watch each of those points how they react when I change just this one value I'm simply going to adjust it and when I press the send button you can see let's get this kind of out of the way okay when I press the send button you can see that it will change that value in each of those units instead of having to change multiple values you can simply let the computer do the work for you we'll just change it again a little more another demonstration of how this works this is a big time saver if you need to adjust temperatures you know if you have a uh, seasonal temperature changes that you need to make 
Uh, you know, you can set up a global data logic block, and it can really make things go much smoother for you. Uh, it's a very, very powerful tool, and I'm just going to give you, I'm just going to show you how we have it set up for using uh, on VAVs when we do a global adjust on the uh, VAV common set point. Let's see here. View this and simply drop down my slave list. And when I change one value, it will write that value. It's a common set point, common zone set point. It will write it into every one of these controllers. And it's very handy. It's a very, very useful tool and something you might want to check out. It's a good time saver. And anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you. Um, if you like the video, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment with any questions down below. Anyways, thanks for watching.